Castello di Rivoli Museum of Contemporary Art The Collection Video Storytelling in I, S and Words as a Sign of Accessibility Giovanni Anselmo, Borgo Franco di Vrea, 1934, Torino, 2023 Giovanni Anselmo began his career as a founding member of Arte Povera. His artistic research aims to make visible the great physical forces of nature and the cosmic energy that governs the universe highlighting the relationship that exists between the finite and the infinite, the visible and the invisible. To make the work Senza Titolo, untitled 1966, Anselmo sticks iron rods into wooden bases, letting them find their own unstable balance. The artist describes it in this way. The resulting structure is able to signal by its movement the energy it contains. In Senza Titolo, untitled 1967, a transparent sheet of plexiglass is lightly bent and held in this position by a hooked iron rod. The work is precisely the physical energy it contains, a typical work of the artist's poetics, which by simple means creates the conditions for enacting a situation of tension. Respiro, Breathing, 1969, is a work that matches a natural, soft and elastic element a sea sponge, with an industrial, heavy and compact product, two iron beams. The work thrives on the energy released by the encounter between the two materials. Changes in temperature produce an alteration, albeit slight, in the dimensions of the iron beams which in turn change the shape of the sponge. Invisibile, Invisible, 1970, belongs to a group of works in which Anselmo wants to verify the invisible. The artist engraves on a rectangular-based lead ingot the word invisible, and cuts away its prefix in. As he explains, if I want to materialize the invisible, it immediately becomes visible. The invisible is the visible which cannot be seen. From the 1960s onward, Anselmo employs the magnetic compass needle as an expression of forces that point in a direction. In Mentre la Terra si orienta, while the Earth finds its bearings, 1967-2007, it is embedded in a layer of dirt. The presence of these two elements the needle and the dirt, hints at the action of the Earth's magnetic field, so as to make us perceive something larger than ourselves, such as the power of the physical forces that govern the universe. During the 1980s, Anselmo developed a cycle of works 
formed from blocks or slabs of granite, sometimes related to the idea of oltremare, ultramarine, beyond the sea, and suspended or held in balance by steel cables and slip knots. The works hold up precisely because of the continuous action of the force of gravity. Verso oltremare, toward the ultramarine, 1984, belongs to this series. It consists of a large stone slab of triangular shape positioned almost vertically. The slab is held in balance by a steel cable so that the top vertex goes in the direction of a small rectangle of ultramarine blue painted on the wall. The title of the work mentions the name of the blue tone used for this pictorial intervention, ultramarine blue precisely so named in reference to the origin of the mineral used to produce the pigment, which in ancient times was imported to Europe from distant lands beyond the sea. The work thus indicates a constant longing where the mind travels in search of an ideal elsewhere. The production of this video was made possible thanks to the Ministry of Culture. Video produced by Education Department, Castello di Rivoli Museum of Contemporary Art and Institute for the Deaf in Turin. As part of the PNRR M1C33 call for proposals. Removal of physical and cognitive barriers in museums and public cultural venues not belonging to the Ministry of Culture 2023. Education Department Castello di Rivoli Museum of Contemporary Art Head Paola Zanini Accessibility and Communication Brunella Manzardo Secretary Coordination Barbara Rocci Artenot Società Coop Abintra Institute for the Deaf in Turin Department Academy Nicola della Maggiora International Signs Translator Laura Caporali English Voiceover Martin Esposito Linguistic Consultancy Enrico Dolza the artworks mentioned are part of the constantly growing collection of Castello di Rivoli Museum of Contemporary Art. The display in the rooms may vary over time.